Hey guys, as we talk about Mr. Beast and if whether or not one or two videos can, can ruin your entire life. And when I mean life, I don't just mean on YouTube. I mean your relationships with your family, with your friends, with other individuals that you would probably collab with. What your business is, can your business. So Gerard did something very bad. He did not pay the charity money that he fundraised. He used the fundraise to accelerate his channel and to make it seem like he was someone he turned out later not to be. And this is kind of YouTube in a nutshell. One or two videos and then he loses everything. He lost his company. He at one time had 20 employees, 20 mouths to feed as he would mention in a video chat with one of the individuals who was recording him and then uploading the video. And that's a lot, his, his business, he had a real business. The completionist was a real business with editors, thumbnail specialists, I mean, very similar to other YouTubers like Mr. Beast or even Logan Paul. There is a team behind the individuals, right? Then you got his personal relationship with his family with his dad and his brother who probably are very upset at him. And then he made the apology video which sounded like he was gonna threaten to sue. Which may have been influenced by, well, I guess they both had their golf tournament this year, so how upset could they possibly be? But now Gerard is not no longer the golden child of the family. He's no longer the most famous of the family. Then you got his YouTube channel, which is a 98% decline in terms of viewership from its height, or even the video where he basically apologizes. He, he explains his situation. It's not really an apology video, but that's what we will label it. And just, uh, just like that, it's all gone. And relationships with his partner are gone. They don't get married. And the partner seems to be very chummy with it's any type of relationship you're going to have mutually shared friends the partner worked for ign ign has many very bad articles about gerard it's probably kind of weird to have your co-workers think that your partner is a scumbag and then write and publish public and then publicly write articles and publish them saying hey your partner is a scumbag Probably not a great place to work. Well, I mean, hey, now, now you don't have him anymore. So you look at how messed up his life is by just that one video. It's a little really, cra it's kind of crazy. He loses his business, right? Uh, 20 employees get laid off. He loses his reputation. He has to pay $600,000 to the charity or to a charity. It turned out this was not uh, any charity that he had ever mentioned before this was a new charity so out of pocket he's out so there was never his money but i'm just saying in the back of his mind he's probably thinking hey you know I, it's been 10 years i wonder if anyone realizes what's happening like it's been 10 years so like you're waking up 10 years from maybe you were very um at some point in time you were worried that you would get caught but after 10 years you're not Right, you just kind of like, okay, well, I'm never gonna get caught because if I work, I was to get caught. Why would, how in the world, and I'm how have I not been caught ten years from now? Right, like it's it's been a long time, and and that's kind of weird, right? It's been such a long time for him not to get caught. It's astounding. It truly is astounding. And then one day he gets caught, and then everything goes to shit, man. His YouTube channel. His business, which is his YouTube channel, but has 20 employees, according to him. His reputation, his friends, his partner leaves him. I mean, this shit is not, like, should not be taken lightly. But again, it's charity fraud. So if it was something, I don't know, a better than this, I, I think. Um, or I guess something not better, but something less offensive to people. Then... Yeah, I, I could see how this would be an interesting argument. Like, okay, was it worth it? Was it not worth it? <laughs> but this is, I mean, his life is gone. 
his life, his friends. He probably is going to have difficulty making new friends, finding a new partner, uh, having finding a job that he might need to find. He's still living off Patreon, I guess. I mean, he's still having movie nights, and if he's not, why would he not? Um, yeah, he's still having movie nights, and I assume that when the Patreon money will eventually dry up as people, you know, as his subscribers are drying up as well. It's just one video changes your entire life. And you go from being a hero, being one of the most respected individuals in your niche of gaming, having tons of money pouring. I mean, at one point in time, you hired 20 people, 20 people in payroll. I don't know if all of them were W-2s or some were vendors, but 20 people in payroll is a massive amount of people on payroll. And uh, yeah, you have a situation where things get very sour. Things are probably going to get more and more sour for him because this is the, uh, when Mr. B says like one video can't take him down. Yeah, it could. It turns out one video can take most people down on YouTube, especially if you are, you know, they turn on you real fast. Uh, and rightfully, so I'm not saying, you know, like it, it's one of the comments on the Reddit they said that you can hate what he did, but still feel really bad for him. And that's kind of where I am. I, I obviously think what he did is totally heinous, but losing everything, including his partner now, I mean, what else has he got to lose? No, uh, I mean, he's, there's dog, he's, he have a dog. Like I think the dog was an apology video, right? And that was a little weird. Like what else is there to lose? You lost your business and you had a big business of 20 people. You lost your respect from your family right because you were the golden child like in his post that he says oh his mom wanted someone to be famous well that was gerard so gerard was respecting his mom's wishes right and turning out to be a celebrity of sorts then you lose uh your youtube channel it, it just gets absolutely decimated right decimated 98 percent down and then you lose your part i mean that's probably the biggest loss that he can suffer and Right before he lost his partner, I mean, he's reading these things by coworkers, just just absolutely tearing him apart. I'm sure at one point, you know, when they were together, she tried to defend him. No, no, he's a good guy. He would never do that. But now it just gets too tiresome. Not only did you lose your partner, everyone sided with her. So now you lost all your friends that you mutually share because no one's going to side with a guy who committed charity or allegedly committed charity fraud that's not the side that people want to go to choose or maybe like one weird dude does it but for the most part yeah it is a, a bizarre fight um it is a bizarre consequence of of bad choices and bad actions because it just not bizarre in that this isn't the natural consequence this is how fast they can fall apart one day you are famous for being a good guy and donating charity and next day everyone hates you and that has lasting consequences. Gerard has played it by the book. He's kind of just not addressed it and continued to make videos as if nothing has happened. Well, that didn't work. It doesn't work that way, it turns out. Anyway, bye guys.